Hi, my name is Jean-Baptiste and I'm going to present our work on data-free model extraction attacks. This work was in collaboration with Patrick Schmeini, Robert J. Wall from WPI, and Nicolas Paperno from the University of Toronto and the Vector Institute. Training a machine learning model is expensive for the computational cost of training the model, because collecting a large and good data set is expensive, and because the model itself is intellectual contribution. Since a machine learning model is expensive, an adversary might want to steal it by copying a victim model's predictions, which would be much cheaper than training a model from scratch. Once a model is stolen, it can be used to reveal private information about the training dataset. It can be monetized like the original model, or it can be used as a reconnaissance step to mount a more complex attack. One popular kind of model stealing attacks is model extraction which is applicable when the machine learning model is available on the web through an API. The principle is based on knowledge distillation. The victim model is queried on multiple data points from a publicly available data set, and the predictions are leveraged to train an alternate machine learning model. One problem though, is that the surrogate data set is very important for those attacks. If the training data distribution is too different from the original training data, then the accuracy significantly drops, as you can observe in our experiments. Other kinds of attacks exist, for example, by recovering the weights directly. But in this work, we focus on this question. How can an attacker steal a machine learning model through an API without any prior data? Here is the attack setting. We want to steal a victim model by copying its behavior through a student model. We want the student to produce the same predictions as the victim on any input data x. Therefore, we encode this into a loss function that measures the disagreement between the victim and student model, and the student is trained by minimizing this loss. Since we don't have any data x, we decided to use a generator, which is trained by maximizing the loss, by maximizing the disagreement between the victim and student. The rationale behind that is that images or data on which the victim and student disagree will bring more information to the student. We do have a problem though. The victim is only accessible via a black box, so we cannot compute gradients of it. Therefore, we need to use some gradient approximation techniques. The loss function we use here is different than in knowledge distillation. We use the L1 norm loss, which is basically the L1 distance between the victim and the student logits in classification. The pro is that we don't have vanishing gradients at convergence compared to KL divergence, the loss used in knowledge distillation. The con is that it requires access to the victim model's logits, which we don't have in the black box setting, but more details are included in the paper. For gradient approximation, we use forward differences, which consist in sampling a random direction on the unit sphere and measure the rate of variation of the function along that direction to get the gradient approximation. By repeating this process multiple times, we get a better and better gradient approximation. In other words, we can pay for better gradient approximations with more queries. Surprisingly, our experiments show that even just one random direction for each gradient approximation is sufficient for a successful attack. As for the results, we see that on CIFAR10 and SVHN, the data-free model extraction attack achieved high accuracy. This is non-trivial compared to random um, queries sent to the victim model, which only achieve random guessing. One drawback is that the query budget is quite high, 2 and 20 million queries for SVHN and CIFAR10. Well, this is not an issue when attacking an on-device machine learning system where the number of query is unrestricted. The takeaways of this presentation are that it is possible to steal a machine learning model without access to any prior data, and we can do so with only weak gradient approximations. The code can be found on GitHub and more details about the project can be found on the Cake Lab and the Clever Hands Lab websites. The next steps for this project are to reduce the query budget and to find the defense against these attacks. Thank you for your attention.